Hi, it's me. I hope everyone is doing really well. I want to drop this little sound bite in here really quick. Just a little bit of information on the Courageous Parenting Lecture Series, which I am so excited that we are ready to launch it. I want to give you a little bit of background on this. So this has been on my heart for a very long time, and it just kind of brings everything together from a lot of the coaching that I do. I actually um, interviewed some kids on this, on what they see for parenting and how they felt during it and what they needed more of. And more importantly, for parents to actually become courageous, because we can't make our kids safe, but we can make them strong. So I wanted to share a little bit of this with you and kind of break down the chapters. So there's five chapters in the, in the PDF book, and each one is meant to make you think, to make you think outside the box, and to ask yourself, are you really meeting your kids where they are? So chapter number one is parent work. This, of course, is exactly what it says. We as parents also have to talk about ourselves, how we're doing in this world, and how we're parenting and showing up. We can't just tell our kids something. We have to model this. And inside this workbook, there's tasks, there's lessons, there's lots of great information that you can use in your home daily, and also to see through your family throughout your time of the parent, and you have them in your home because, as we know, they're not staying there for very long. Number two, family framework. What is your framework inside your home? What are your traditions? What are things that are really important to you? And how solid is the foundation that you're building for your children? Because as we know, that's where they're launching from. So we want to make sure that it's a really good, solid foundation. That they understand that you're there for them. You're walking alongside of them, but you're not going to do it for them and you're not going to enable them. Only way we can actually really equip our kids, which is chapter three, equipping your child. How well are we doing this? How well have we equipped them with life skills, not just academics, but the whole person? We have to look at our kids holistically. So that means life skills. That means how well are they going to be on their own? Are they independent? Do they understand what being independent is? Or are they seeking freedom? How healthy are they nutrition-wise, physical-wise, taking care of their body, their emotional well-being? All these things are how good that we can equip them and how are we doing that? And more importantly, have we done that? Chapter number four, empty nest, healthy bird. This is a, an important conversation to have because our kids will eventually go on their own. Hopefully they're healthy enough to do that and we're not enabling them with a failure to launch mentality. And second component to this chapter is as parents, what do we wanna do afterwards? Once our kids are gone, there's a whole nother version of us. And are we doing and, and are we seeking out more information for who we are as parents? But again, are they healthy enough to navigate life? And as we know, this world today, there's a lot of stuff coming at our kids. And have they been equipped and are they ready? And do they have the skills that they need to do that? And are they healthy enough to leave our nest? That's a big, important question that we have to address, especially as parents. Have we done this well? And chapter five, social media and parenting in the 21st century. Do you know what's at your kid's fingertips? Are you aware of social media? Are you aware of what they have access to every day? You know, kids that are coming into the world today, it's interesting, they're, they have so much information and they've been equipped, they're way better at navigating the information than we are, but they're not necessarily good at discerning what is good information and being able to use their prefrontal cortex to basically make these decisions. So that's our job as parents. We have to be the one that's in there. And how well are we modeling that? Or are we just talking about it? You know, we always say, back in my day, our parents have the conversation of, I've been here longer than you have. So that automatically means I know more than you do. Wisdom versus knowledge versus life skills. That's the conversation I want to have on here. And are you willing to be a humble parent to where we can actually learn from our kids? You know, we, we can learn from multitude of generations, but can we learn from our own children in our own home? Because they have their own point of reference and they have their own perspective. So I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this. More information is coming. Also, we're launching the newsletter, two newsletters coming to you each month with so much information and valued information as well as a voice for Gen Z. We're going to have contributors um, within that age range to be able to talk about what they're dealing with on a daily basis. And you just might learn something that might help your own family. So cannot wait to hear from you guys. Hope you grab this and hope you find so much value in it. And as always, please email us with any information or questions or concerns you might have. We want to be in service to your family to make sure that we're helping you equip your families to navigate this world. We're here. Thank you.